through time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. Days, man, but our people don't understand that freedom, that righteous grace and mercy that was awarded to you by that sacrifice, man. Go ahead. Just the book of Hosea, chapter 5, verse 15. Bring it out. I will go and return to my place. What did the Lord say? I will go and return to my place uh -huh. till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face. And do what? And seek my I face. You got to start to seek his face. How do you seek the face of the Lord? In his word, right? Meditating on his word day and night. That's how you truly seek the face of the Lord. That's how you truly develop a relationship with the Lord in the last days, right? Go ahead. In their affliction, they will seek me early. Only when our people got a foot on their neck getting put to death, right? When you're in that hospital bed, right? Begging for your life. That's when you want to seek the mercy and grace of the Lord, man, right? But you didn't want to give him time when you had liberty, when you had freedom, right? To keep his law, statutes, and commandments, which is not grievous unto you. Right. But all our people want to do is come out here and commit fornication, commit adultery, right? Rob and steal from your own brother. Kill your own brother. That's all you got time for in the last days, right? Read what you got. The book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. Huh? My people. What do you say? My people. We come out here to talk to the Lord's people in the last days. Let me get Matthew 121. Go ahead. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Understand that. Everybody is not God's people, man. Y'all have been lied to in the last days. But you got to understand this. The men of the Lord, the true servants are coming out with the truth. To let you know, everybody is not his, right? You're only his when you hear his word. You understand that? Read that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. And, shall, and she shall bring forth a son, uh -huh. and thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from for his... For he shall save his people from what? From their sins. From their sins. Let me get 2 and 6, right? Matthew's 2 and 6, right? Let's see who the Lord's people is. Is it everybody? <laughs> Book of Matthew, chapter two, verse six, uh -huh. and and thou Bethlehem in the land of Judah uh -huh. art not the least among the princes of Judah, uh -huh. for out of thee shall come a governor. For out of thee shall come a governor, man. That is our true governor. Yahweh Shah, what? Yahweh Yahweh Shah is the true government, okay? And that's who we cleave to in the last days, man. Right. And you nations are gonna cleave to us, man. We. That shall rule my people, Israel. That shall rule my people, who? That shall rule my people, Israel. Hey, our governor is going to rule his people, Israel. And we're going to rule you nations, right? Like the priest was going into, man, right? That nation and kingdom that will not serve you, bring them here so I can slay them before you, man. That is coming to pass, right? That is going to be a righteous judgment to all you nations that have put the foot on the children of Israel's neck, man. Understand that in the last days, man. You got something? What? The book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He showeth his word unto Jacob. No, he showed his word to everybody. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgment unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation. Understand that. Our power ain't dealing with everybody. Right? He only gave his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding unto the children of Israel. And I'm not talking about them rat dogs over there occupying a land that's not theirs, okay? Go ahead. He hath not dealt so with any nation. Uh -huh. And as for his judgment. As for his penalties for breaking his commandments, right? Go ahead. They have not known them. You don't know the Lord, okay? Because he didn't give you that right yet. But understand this. Your time is now to listen to his right, right? We're the light to the Gentile. Understand that. You have to learn how to be righteous through the children of Israel. Y'all don't know how to be righteous, man. 
Y'all don't know what's going on. Y'all don't even know what y'all signed yourself up for, right? The moment you went into the system. This system is getting ready to crash. This system is getting ready to fall, right? The dollars getting ready to be done away with, right? Everything that you people have thought was right is getting ready to be wiped away. The school system is getting ready to be done away with. Understand that. Your jobs are going to be taken away from you. Don't say if the Lord the last days, right? Understand that, man. But you got you to gotta look and see what you signed yourself up for when you joined that school system, right? You got to see what you signed yourself up for when you joined that police force, right? You got to see what you, what you signed yourself up for when you joined that military force, right? Without knowing what you made an allegiance to. Without knowing what you signed yourself up to in the last days, right? We Praise ye, Yahweh! Praise ye who? Praise ye, Yahweh! We come out here to praise Yahweh when Yahweh shine in the last days, man. We lifting up the mighty men and the mighty names of our powers in the last days, man. Those names were stripped from us, right? Y'all gave us falsehood. Y'all gave us other names to acknowledge that don't mean nothing to the children of Israel. You understand that? You got something? Go ahead. This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me, what the Lord say? If ye love me. Hey, can I ask y'all a question? Do y'all love God? You do? Okay, how do you love God? Do you know? Give me that. How do you love God? You know? Okay, look at the brother, man. Look at what he said. Hey, give him a hand, man. He said by keeping his laws. Listen at this right here. Finish reading that. Go ahead. This is the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If ye love me. Keep my commandments. Do what? Keep my commandments. Are y'all keeping the commandments of God? To our best ability. To your best ability. What does that mean? Um, you know, not Teach him, shoe. Teach him. Not eat swine? Oh, so you don't eat swine? Do you eat swine? Do you eat shrimp? Do you eat crab? Do you eat lobster? Don't eat animals at all. You don't eat animals, you plant based? Okay, all praises, man. All praise. That's great. That's great. That's great right there, right? But with all that, right? What other laws do we do we not remember that's written there? Mm -hmm. All right, so check this. Let me get let me let me get um let me get Exodus twenty and verse eight. Watch this. What you got? Go ahead. The book of Numbers, chapter fifteen, verse thirty-eight. Speak unto the children of Israel. Do you know you're the children of Israel? All praises. Go ahead. And bid them. And do what? And bid them. Hey, we bidding you right now, my brother. We bidding you to the Lord's marriage right now. Go ahead. Bid them that they make them fringes. That they do what? That they make them fringes. Y'all know what fringes is? Yeah. What is it? He's right here. Oh, so you acknowledge that law, right? All right. Where y'all at? I need to get them. You need to get them? Yes. Well, you need to come on this side and get them, brother. Come. That's how you get them, brother. You come on this side with men that's doing the work in the last days so you can get all you need right. right with all that getting get understanding this day that you have to join yourself with like-minded spirit brother go ahead bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments uh -huh. throughout their generation you gotta keep doing it that mean that that precious little girl of yours on your shoulders you gotta put them on her too brother go ahead right. and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue that's right you gotta put that ribbon of blue up there as well because what is it gonna do and it shall be unto you uh -huh. for a fringe, uh -huh. that ye may look upon it uh -huh. and remember all the commandments of the Lord. That's how you remember all the laws of the commandments of God, right? Let me get that Exodus 20 and 8. What? Just the book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Uh -huh. Remember the Sabbath day. What did he say? Remember the Sabbath day. Hey, my brother, you got time for the word to the Lord in the last day, brother? All right. Go ahead. To keep it holy. Do what? To keep it holy. And why do you think the Lord said to remember the Sabbath day? Why do you think he said remember it? Because he knew our people would forget it. He knew we would be negligent in our thought process one day, and we would forget his holy commandments, right? He, we would forget those things that would make us separate, right? So we wouldn't come out here and join the festivities of the nations, you understand that? Because our job is to make these nations fall, right? When we don't come out here and continue to walk up and down the streets holding hand in hand with these people right here, and we can make this system crash, right? right. Just by keeping the Sabbath day holy as a collective source in the earth, man, right? When we separate ourselves from these nations because you are a separate people, right? Understand that. That's what your job is, man. Right? Read what you got. 
The book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 30. Ye shall keep my Sabbath. You shall do what? Ye shall keep my Sabbath uh -huh. and reverence my sanctuary. Uh -huh. I am Yahweh. Are y'all doing that? Not yet. Not yet? So how long you been knowing your edge right, my brother? About two months now. Okay, all right, all right. All praises, all praises. So, so you know that you must keep these law, statutes, and commandments in order to be converted, right? You know, you do know that. Who you study with? Who you learning under? I'm just reading myself. Man. You just reading yourself? I'm, I'm looking at a different camera. I was check, I checked y'all out last morning. Okay, all praises. Oh, you know, I came out here to see y'all. To be honest, you came out here today to see us. Hey, get a brother here, man. He said he came out here to see us, man. You see that? You see that? That's what the Lord is doing in the last days, man. He's bringing the servants, man, right? And that's what we pray for in the last days. We pray for more fruit. We pray for more laborers, man, because it ain't enough. You understand that? We got a lot of people that's called, man, but only those people that's chosen are really going to be out here doing this work, man. All right? All right? Go ahead. Uh, the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 21. And thou shalt not let any of thy seed pass through the fire to Molech. And that's what we do. We don't, we, by, keep, by keeping the commandments and teaching the law, statutes and commandments, right? We do not put our children in the hands of other gods. Right. We remove that fiery affliction from these other gods and serving these other nations. That's what we do, right? Go ahead, King. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, verse 1. Bring it out. Gather yourself together. What did the Lord say? Gather yourself together. Yeah, the Lord said you got to gather yourselves together, right? But you're going to find out, man. Our people got a heavy problem, and they make it a burdensome thing not to gather yourself together with like-minded spirit in the last right. days, man. Show me the scripture that says we got to have all of the doctrines before we come together as a people. Bring it out. Right? The Lord said, gather yourselves together. That's a commandment, man. Not come out here and debate every damn thing like that's going to get it done, right? If that's the case, then we need to start putting all the doctrines on the table. You understand that? Stop being scared to be wrong. You see that? Because we have a problem with coming together. We are refusing that. But you know what's going to happen? When war starts, that's when people are going to come running. That's when all the people that got problems with the camps, right, that's on there, the keyboard warriors, that's when they're going to come running to the camps, right, in the last days. Because there's government, right? There's leadership. There's order amongst camps. You understand that? And what you're going to see there is their protection with the camps as well, right? The heavenly angels are encamped around us right now, right? That's why we get the wisdom. That's why we come out here to edify our people in the manner of which we do. We're not afraid of none of these people, man. Right? All their wicked devices. You understand that? We come out here ready and prepared to die when we come out here with this world, man. Understand that. Go ahead. The book of Exodus, chapter 29, verse 43. And there will I will meet with the children of Israel, uh -huh. and the tabernacle shall be sanctified by my glory. Uh -huh. Verse 45. And I will dwell among the children of Israel. I understand that. Go ahead. And will be their God. And will do what? And will be their God. He's going to be everybody's God on that day. And will be their God. I understand that, man. God is not the God of everybody if you don't know that, man. Do you right. think God, what's your nationality and your origin? You from Afghanistan? Does God love the Afghanis? Of course. Of course. Does hey. God love everybody? Of course. Of hey. course. Let me get Romans uh, 9 and 13. Let's see. Right? Let's see. Keep reading where you at. Okay. Uh, I am, the, and they shall know that I am the Lord their God uh -huh. that brought them forth out of the land of Egypt. Hey, did the Lord bring everybody out of the land of Egypt? He did, not right? Did the Lord give everybody his commandments? Right. He did. Does the, does the Lord feel the same about everybody? Am I equal to you? I don't say the Lord will feel the same for everybody. Okay. Yeah. So what do you say? It depends on your actions. Depends on your actions? Yeah, what, what you choose to do. Right, so you got to do something in order for the Lord to acknowledge you, right? Okay, so what do you got to do for the Lord to acknowledge you? The right thing. The right thing is keeping his law, statutes, and commandments, right? Did he give his law, statutes, and commandments to everybody? Yeah. He did? All right, let's see. Bring it up. Go ahead. The book of Exodus, chapter 16, verse 9. Uh -huh. And Moses spake unto Aaron, uh -huh. Say unto all the congregation of the children of Israel. To everybody. To the children of Israel. To the Afghanis. To the children of Israel. To the Palestinians. To the children of Israel. Yeah, understand this. The word is just to the children of Israel in the last days. What you got? I got Matthew 4.47. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get it. Yeah. Go ahead. The book of Exodus, chapter 5, verse 1. Uh -huh. And afterward, Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh 
Thus said Yahweh, God of Israel, uh -huh. let my people go. Let everybody go. Let my people go. That they may hold a feast unto me. Everybody can hold these feasts unto God. Do you understand that? So he didn't give everybody his law, statutes, and commandments. When he created the children of Israel, he didn't create them to be equal with everybody. Understand that. Read what you got. You said 147, bro. 119. 147, 19, 20. 147, 19, 20. Right. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. Understand this, right? He only showed his word unto Jacob. Let me get Joel 2 and 7 and Amos 3 and 1, go ahead. His statutes and his judgment unto Israel. Understand this. He only showed his statutes and his judgments to Israel, right? For breaking his commandments, go ahead. He, he had not dealt so with any nation. No, he dealt with everybody. He had not dealt so with any nation. Understand that our power did not give his law, statutes, and commandments to everybody, if that's what you was told. So now you're going to get the correction and the edification so our people could be further edified as well. Go ahead. The book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 27. Uh -huh. And ye shall know uh -huh. that I am in the midst of Israel. No, I'm in the midst of everybody. I am in the midst of Israel. Understand that he's in the midst of Israel. Let me get Matthews 18 and 20. Go ahead. And that I am the Lord, your God. And I'm what? And I am the Lord, your God. And I am the Lord, your God. Understand that, man. He's the only the God of Israel. Go ahead. And none else. And everybody else. And none else. No, he's only the God of Israel. Understand that. Let me get Amos 3 and 1. Go ahead. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Understand this. This word is only for the children of Israel. Read what you got. This is the book of Matthew, verse, chapter 18, verse 20. Verse 19. Salakia. This is the book of Matthew. 20, 20, 20. Just the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 21. And Nick, Salakia. This the book of Matthew, chapter 18, verse 20. For where two or three are gathered together in my name. Understand this. We are two or three or more out here gathered in our Father's name right now. Understand that, bro. There am I in the midst of them. Then came Peter to him and said. So understand that. He's in the midst of us right now, bro. The book of Ezekiel, chapter 12. The book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 1. Uh -huh. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. O children of Israel, go ahead. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. We're talking about the whole family of Israel, right? That he brought up from the land of Egypt. Understand that, go ahead. Saying, you only uh -huh. have I known. You only have I known, right? Go ahead. Of all the families of the earth. Uh -huh. Therefore, I will punish you. I'm going to punish everybody. I will punish you. I understand that. When you see this right here, this is punishment from the Lord, from the children of Israel breaking his commandments. You didn't go through this right here, so nope. Right? Again, I'm, I'm a Muslim. That's fine. Probably a copy of the Quran right there. Do we have a... Yeah, what about your Quran, man? What does the Quran say? The Quran, I mean... You think we don't know the Quran up here? What does the Quran tell you to do? The Quran tells you to follow the books of Moses, doesn't it? Yep. Right? No, no, it doesn't? No, no. Oh, man. You don't want to get cut up here with your own Quran. Man. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. Let me show you we, something, we man. Bring it out. Give it we some don't, rock. We don't, we, we don't rock. play, man, okay? We have your book, too. I All thought right. you knew. I thought no, you so knew. the only thing that I've been raised on and based on that book, yeah. you follow that book, uh -huh. that book tells me, right? And that is yep. everybody's equal. Everybody's equal. Everybody's equal. Everybody's equal. Everybody's equal. So we just read, right? Let me get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Let's see if everybody's equal. Based on, what, what, listen, what book trumps what? How about that? I was born and raised. No, 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 I ain't asking that. I'm talking about, right, historically, what book trumps what? Which one is the principle? Which one, no, not probably, which one came first? The Bible. The Bible came first. Understand that. Yeah, go ahead. He, 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 yeah, yeah, go ahead. Let's get, let's get, let's get. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hold on, hold on, man. Look, look, look. We're going to get the Quran for you, man. We're going to bring you one passage out of the Quran, man. All right? Yeah. And then we need to go to the Hadith, too. We got that, too. I thought you knew. Okay? okay. I don't. I, I'm not, I, I know you don't, yeah. but we do. Understand that. We have been commissioned to study all things in the last days so we can make wise the simple. Study. Understand study. that, right? All right? Because that's what you got to do. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Uh -huh. Bring it up. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Uh -huh. For thou art a holy people. Understand. 
saying that? He's talking to the children of Israel when he's saying this. Go ahead. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God have chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself uh -huh. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Now we equal to everybody. The Lord did not set his love upon you. Look that part again. Oh, baby. Come. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God have chosen thee to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself uh -huh. yeah. above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Understand this. This Bible just made your Quran alive. Right. You understand that? We just, we just, we just made that Quran a, a lie. Because you say that this right here is a is a clear mimic of what this is right here, right? What does the Quran mean? Do you know? Uh, no, I don't. It means to recite, right? What is it reciting? No, you can look it up if you don't think so. Yeah. I'm not. I'm, All right, so I'm you, Listen, that's what I'm telling you, right? I'm, I know that. That's why I'm, you said you're not religious. Well, we ain't religious either, right? We're not religious either. We're just upholding our natural state, which is the children of Israel. Understand that, right? I right, understand that this day. That's what you do. That's what you came up here to deal with today. Read what you got. This is this is your Quran, okay? This is Surah 2, 121. Bring it out. Those to whom we have sent the book. The, the what? The book. The book. What book we talking about? Now, nah, watch this. Study it as it should be studied. Uh -huh. They are the ones that believe therein. Uh -huh. Those who reject faith therein. The loss is their own. Uh -huh. Children of Israel. What? Children of Israel. Why is your Quran talking about the children of Israel? Who are the children of Israel? You looking at them. That's right. You looking at them, man. Right? There you go, right there. You looking at the children of Israel in the last days, man. Why do you think we're all those books? When the children of Israel prophets, huh? When the children of Israel great orators, huh? Wasn't the children of Israel great writers, the scribes, huh? Come on, man, what are you talking about, boy? Children of Israel, uh -huh. call uh -huh. to mind the special favor uh -huh. which I bestowed upon you. Why is the Quran talking about the children of Israel having a special favor bestowed upon them? Do you understand what we're reading here? Go ahead. And that I preferred you. No, 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 no. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute, man. I think I need to read Yeah, we got a little more time. Hold on, hold on. I don't think I, I don't even think I heard that correctly, man. Hold on. Watch this. Go ahead. Verse 21, 22. Uh -huh. Children of Israel, call to mind the special favor uh -huh. which I bestowed upon you uh -huh. and that I preferred you to all others. <laughs> Dang. Dang. Hold on. Hey, get him. He said, damn. Come on, come on. Hey, call my son. Call my son. Call my son. Call my son. Hey, I'm going out to you. How are y'all shot? Got some good to credit in the last days, man. But he put the spirit in us to study his word through and through, man. To study your books, too. To be on how to debunk all doctrines in the last days. You got one more, man? Go ahead. The book of Surah, chapter 5, and I'll start at verse 1. One more, one more. Listen at this. Wait, wait, just hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Listen at this. We got one more in your Quran. This is your Quran. Verse 51, ye who believe, take not the Jews and the Christians for your allies and protectors. Uh -huh. They are but allies and protectors to each other. Oh, you understand what that says? That means, that means that we don't need no other nation to be joined with us, okay? Right. We must join with each other. We are our own protectors, okay? We protect one another. When we come out here to do this work in the last days, we don't need y'all. We need our people to stand yeah. tall, right? Go ahead. And the Christians, for your allies and protectors, uh -huh. they are but allies and protectors to each other. Uh -huh. And he amongst you that turns to them for protection is of them. Uh -huh. Verily, I did, Allah guideth not a people unjust. Ooh-wee. Hey, it's time for you. Hey, listen, you want to know what to do with this? this woman not if you got it, if you got this at your house, right, and you holding this right here as, as a truth in the last day, you need to take this, right, and and because you know war is coming right power gonna be out you're gonna be cold you can take these pages and use them for fire yep okay burn them up to heat yourself up and get light in the last <laughs> days okay and come back to the bible man 
That's where the world is in the last days, man. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's ours. That's ours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gonna we gonna use it to cut up some more Muslims. <laughs> hey, where the where the dude that where the where the dude that they had the dashiki on, man? Bring him back up here too. Man, come on, go ahead. This is the book of Second Ezra, chapter six, verse fifty-six. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said. They are nothing. What the Lord say? They, they are, are nothing. nothing. They to protect this Israel. They, they are, are nothing. nothing. They should be joined with Israel in the last. They, they are, are nothing. nothing. The Lord said, "Y'all nothing, man. Right. Understand that, boy. But as like unto spill. Uh -huh.